Viva en sí, viva! Viva un punto de sistema eléctrico de Trans Association, viva! Viva South African Communist Party, viva! Viva Kosatu, viva! Comrade Master of Ceremonies, the leadership of the African National Congress at the national, provincial, and regional level, and especially to the family of Commander Musanda. I greet you all in the name of Umkontu with Sinswe Military Veterans Association, of whom I'm standing here as a member of the National Executive Committee of NKNDA. Rest assured, comrades, NKNDA is well and alive. It is there in this region, in this province, and throughout the country. I've asked Comrade Chizzy to read out the message from the National Executive of NKNDA because I wanted to speak from the heart. Because I know, Comrade Commander Dumusani, I know Comrade Tango very well. And today is not for me to read out a message, but to speak with my blood and to speak from my heart. Umama Tango, our deepest sympathies to you, to the children, and to the whole family. We know that you are suffering deeply. We know that the pain that you feel, we can never feel. It's very personal. But at the same time, fellow comrades, we also feel the pain of a fellow soldier that has committed his life to the liberation of his people and has laid down his life until his last breath in pursuit of the struggle for the full liberation of his people. When I heard that comm Commander Mas Mutinga has passed on. I reminded myself how we went to Nkandla to meet with President Jacob Zuma. I reminded myself of the commitment that our dear comrade Tambo showed there in his engagement with President Zuma but also, as you know, comrades, over the years, in working for the improvement and the betterment of the lives, especially, of the members of Nkontuvi Sinswe. I remember the campaigns that he was involved in, the concerns that he expressed, that the members of MK are not being treated properly. The concerns that he expressed that so many of our liberation soldiers are living in dire poverty, are suffering deeply, do not have the recognition that they deserve from this democratic government and from the African National Congress. Those issues concern our dear commander until the very last day of his life. He dedicated in his last years his life to the liberation and full liberation of his people. He would never have accepted that we can have the continuing poverty not only of MK veterans, but the increasing poverty 
of our people throughout this country. Our commander could never have accepted decisions that we've heard during the last number of weeks that black economic empowerment must be lifted and that our people must continue to suffer and the economic exploitation and the continuation of control by white monopoly capitalism and the big companies in this country. He was deeply concerned about it. He was prepared to fight against it. Because our commander left this country and went into exile with a mission to work for full liberation. He understood the message from the longest serving president of, of the African National Congress, Comrade Oliver Reginald Tambo, when he said liberation is never just liberation from racism. It is also liberation from economic subjugation and exploitation. Uh -huh. Comrades, during the last number of weeks, we have seen some of the worst things that we could have imagined in this country. Things that we could never have imagined when we joined as soldiers in Konto How could we have imagined that the commander of our people, Comrade Chris Harley Skiller, could be announced to be released from prison? How, Comrade, could we imagine that a Chief Justice that is supposed to be a representative of the democratic and constitutional state and is supposed to protect our interests can commit such a dastardly act to release the killer of Commodore time. Shame on him. It is shameful. And we have to say very clearly today that we understand the message that Comrade Chris Harley delivered to us in 1994 before he was killed. When he was saying that he was deeply concerned about the negotiations of Kudesa, that those on behalf of the African National Congress, and that included Cyril Ramaphosa, were standing us out at those negotiations. We were then told, when Comrade Chris Hani was killed by the right-wingers who, together in conjunction with other forces in this country, and I believe those forces also included senior members of our National Democratic Movement and of the African National Congress when he was killed to silence him, not to speak out about this betrayal. And we were told, comrades, remain calm, remain quiet, work for the elections to take place and for the Constitution to be adopted. We were told that that is the best way to serve the memory and the legacy of Comrade Chris Hunt. Now, 29 years later, we know that we have been taken for a ride. We have been lied to. We can see that the exploitation is not just continuing but it is increasing. Yeah. We can see that the same man who led the negotiations on behalf of the African National Congress, Sir Ramaphosa, is now destroying the ANC and this country. We can see that. 
And I know that Commander Nasringa will not have had any problem for me to stand here and to say to all of you who have gathered here to mourn the passing of this great man that Saro Ramaphosa is a stellar and that he must go. Comrades, today, as we commemorate the life of a great commander of Umkomtuvi system, I call on all of you, those who are his comrades, those who are his family, those who are his friends, in the memory in remembering the legacy of Comrade Tumasani Tango, let us commit ourselves to save our beloved liberation movement. Let us commit ourselves to make sure that in the decisions that we take in the days that run up to the 55th National Conference of the ANC, that the delegates who come from the branches to go to that conference will have a clear mission, an unequivocal mission, to save the ANC. And to save the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa and his sellouts who are now on the National Executive Committee of the African National Congress must go. Anza. There can be no compromise. Uh -huh. If we fail, we will not only fail the memory and the legacy of this commander of Umkontuvi Shakespeare, we will fail ourselves and we will fail the future, the hope the true liberation of our people and our children. Comrades, I thank you for having granted me the opportunity to say these few words. Comrade MC, I also thank you for having given me the opportunity to speak first because of another African National Congress event that I need to go to in Howick later this afternoon. Let us, for a moment, recall our commander's life. A man who grew up amongst his people, who loved his people, who went into exile and got training as a soldier of Umkontubi Shizbeh because of his love for his people, because of his love for full liberation, who returned to this country and continued to work for the liberation of his people here among you, day after day, until the very last day of his life. I now want to talk to my brother and my comrade. My dear comrade, you have fought the long battle. You have walked as far as you could, the long walk to freedom. As we are gathered here, we mourn your passing. But beyond that, we celebrate your life. We are grateful for the life that you dedicated to us, to your friends and your family and your comrades. And we dedicate ourselves to continue with this struggle for liberation. Every day, walking step by step with your memory 
with you now as one of our great liberation ancestors. Here in this world, in this physical world of ours, you drop a spear, you pass on. And we, as your comrades and brothers, bend down and we pick up that spear. And we say we will carry this spear forward. We will not let it fall until the full ideals of full liberation in this country is truly achieved. I call it. I call it. Amanda. Away. Viva in C. Viva. Viva. Viva on Pontuitis with Military Veterans Association. Viva. Viva. Viva President Jacob Zuma, viva! A luta continua! A luta! A luta continua! A luta! A luta continua! A luta! Thank you, Comrade Steph.